All right, I'm going to discuss the uh, wiring for this G-Body swap, LS G-Body swap. Um, main things are uh, ignition, starter, um, alternator, torque converter lockup wire, and the park neutral safe, uh, safety switch. Um, or not the safety switch, just this, the, the wires that go to the PCM to tell, tell the PCM that you're in park or neutral so we can adjust the parameters. All right, we'll go over the, uh, the uh, part neutral and the torque converter first. Very, very, very easy. All right, in my last video, uh, we discussed pulling this harness from the firewall. Now, uh, this is the harness that was plugged into the firewall. Obviously, this is the engine side. This goes, this is the engine side, and this is the interior side. So this harness comes in back there and it plugs into that silver PCM that's in the passenger side kick panel via these two plugs right here. All right now not only does it have those two plugs but it has this plug which plugs into the basically the instrument panel harness inside which is this wire. Ignore this. This is ADL for the new computer but it plugs into this, these wires here. Now, these wires are um, lettered. If you turn them over, you'll see A, B, C through H. And I think this is I through something, maybe. Maybe these are numbered, I don't know. No? But anyway, the ones that are labeled A through, is that H? A through H you don't have to worry about. So just don't even worry about those. The only plug we're concerned with is this one right here. And this is so easy, even a caveman can do it. All right. The purple wire here, if you, if you know anything, if you're doing an LS swap, the torque converter wire to tell the torque converter to, to lock and unlock, it opens uh, when activated. In other words, it's, it's naturally closed, providing 13 volts, and then when you step on the brake, it goes to, to zero. So it needs 13 volts at resting and zero volts when the brake is applied. So, but that wire is already wired that way. So this purple wire, which went to the original TH200 in this car, works just like that. So if you turn the ignition on and you probe this with, the, with your, uh, your voltmeter, turn the ignition on, step on the brake, it will go from 13 volts to zero. Let off the brake, it goes from 0 to 13. That's exactly what you want. So you'll take this purple wire and connect it straight to, uh, I can't remember exactly what pin it is on the PCM, but that, that's it right there. That's all you need. The second one is this orange and black wire right next to it. That is the park neutral wire. If you, well, let me, let me add this. Originally when I, when I, when I back probed that to see if it went to ground, it wouldn't do it. And the reason being is this black and, and white wire is the ground, but it was grounded to the right-hand passenger uh, valve cover on the old engine. In other words, this black, black and white wire ran through here, hooked back into this white harness, ran all the way down and all the way to, through the firewall, and then it was grounded to, uh, where is it, right here. It was grounded to the passenger, uh, I think it's the valve cover the back of the head. I don't know, either one. So that's where it got its ground, so it didn't work. So what you have to do is you're going to have to cut this, this black and white wire off, add a spa uh, ring connector like that other one, and ground it to something inside your glove box, and that'll, that'll provide you with a ground. As a matter of fact, I don't know, you just have to find something in there to, to, uh, to ground it to. So then, after you have this grounded, this black and white wire, you'll connect your... Um, the park neutral wire, I believe it's a white wire on the PCM, I don't remember which one. You'll connect it to this, and then when you go up here and you shift either into park or neutral, you'll get uh, ground, and it'll be open otherwise. So that's, that's how you solve that. And another thing is, I've got a 4L80 in this, I put a 4L80 in this cutlass, and uh, the shift 
detents, I guess I should say, are not, obviously don't line up the same as the TH200 because there's an extra gear, I mean, an extra detent. So what you have to do is, because if you, if, you, if you don't get in here, and you reach up in here and there's a white switch, kind of shaped like a half moon that goes around this steering column. I think you can kind of see it. I think that's it right there. That's yeah, right here, I believe. I don't know, I can, but you'll, you'll feel it. But you can move it side to side. It's got little notches. I don't want to do it because I've already adjusted mine, but you can, it'll, it'll ratchet both ways. In other words, if uh, you back probe it with your, uh, your continuity meter, your own meter, whatever, and it doesn't, it doesn't, uh, it doesn't stay grounded. In other words, you can sometimes shake this and it'll, you'll see it fluttering on the thing. And earlier, I, when I had it adjusted, I put it in reverse and it was still grounded, so it wasn't really working right. But now I've adjusted it, so now when I'm in park, it's grounded. Reverse, it's not grounded. Neutral, it is grounded. And all the other ones, it's not grounded. So it's working just like it should. So that takes care of that. That takes care of all these other wires. Your, your diagnostic port for the new computer, I'm gonna have to extend the wires, but you can extend them around and put them, and that thing will bolt right in where the old ALDL was for the old computer. So I'm gonna put it right, right where that one was. So that takes care of the neutral safety, or not neutral safety, just the park neutral. The park neutral advisory wire to the PCM is not really a safety switch. And the um, torque converter. And of course we had to ground that ring. And then I'll show you. And as far as hooking up the engine, it's real, real, real easy. The engine and the, the alternator. This alternator is obviously out of a truck. It has the, let me go ahead and show you the plug because some of them aren't aren't wired the same. All right, this is what my plug looked like out of the truck. Right there, you can see the brown wire is right here and it's labeled. I thought they were labeled, maybe not. But anyway, it's that middle pin, you can gauge off of that. Well, I've, I ran mine through the harness back here because I thought I was gonna have to connect both the gray wire and that. But the gray wire, you don't even have to connect. It has nothing to do with anything. Cut it off, leave it. And then you'll connect the brown wire that's coming from that plug to the stock brown wire that was going to your original alternator. And it'll work fine. That's all you have to do. And then coming out of the same harness that your alternator connects to, you'll have your starter wire. And it's the one with the ring on Well, I mean, of course, it's obviously the one with the ring on it because the starter on this Oldsmobile was on this side. So you're gonna have to extend it because the starter on the LS is on the other side. But anyway, that's, that's this one right here. So that's the only other wire. And then the only other wire you have to deal with, it's thick because it was supplying voltage to the distributor, 